As a New Englander growing up in Massachusetts, Maine has always been synonymous with the outdoors. With its endless forests, scenic mountains, pristine lakes, and wild rivers, it's easy to see why some of the best known businesses in Maine include L.L. Bean, Kitty Trading Post, and of course, Old Town Canoe. Having owned and fished out of an Old Town Canoe for many years, when the opportunity arose to tour the Old Town facility and fish with Dave Haddon and Luke Labrie from the company, I jumped at the opportunity. Times had certainly changed over the years for Old Town, and with the emergence of the kayak boom, Old Town had shifted much of their resources and knowledge into developing cutting-edge kayaks. On this trip, I would be fishing the new Predator kayak from Old Town, with Dave and Luke as my guides in search of pike and smallies along the Pushaw and Penobscot rivers. The watershed that we're in is part of the Penobscot, but the actual river we're on is the Pushaw Stream. And it comes off the lake, we're actually paddling up towards the lake right now. Okay. So we were gonna do just the entire float down, but the way timing is, this is perfect. Yeah. Two feet in from you is that weed line, and that's what all of mine have come off of. They've, they've come, popped right off the weed line. David, how many beaver dams are there? I like this, up and down the stream. It's, we got two now, so there's probably another two that I know of. It's amazing when you come up close here and you look down at all the structure, you can see the beavers leave so much of this underwater out front for structure, which they can navigate through simple. These things are big up here, huh? These guys are living clean. So what do you think, about $2,000 a week on a Oh cape? yeah, I think they'd be getting <laughs> at least $2,400 a week if that was on Cape Cod. I'm really happy with how solid these boats are. I'm not used to standing up in a kayak, but this felt very comfortable. Yeah, exactly. So they thought of everything. I'm loving my hummingbird. You guys are kind enough to give me a hummingbird. All right, all right. Although that's not helping me with, with the pike. <laughs> You're the one that's catching those. Yeah, I don't think uh, the weeds are, if you find the weeds, I think you'll find the pike. Yep, fish on. David said, was trolling the um, raffle of fire tiger off the back and just stopping every now and then and tossing this MEPS up in front. And uh, the nice thing about the raffle is it will float back up, right? So you're not gonna lose it. And then this just gives me the opportunity to work too. Kind of just really different bait. There we go. There's another one. This one's kind of fat. Just let this baby get back in the water here. We've been fishing this chartreuse, this fire tiger pattern. This is the spinner version. We've also been using uh, some crankbaits, the Rapala Countdowns. And the nice thing is it will float back up. So if you're trolling and you cast a one and you hook up, this isn't necessarily gonna get hung up on the bottom. So you can work two baits and you know really work two different columns. Go. There we go. Here he is. This is where kayak fishing gets exciting. You got a rod to the, you got a rod to the uh, to the left. You got to avoid. You got a rod to the to the center. You got to avoid. You got that last little run was good. It's nice doing the move around the bow. Big pickerel. Beautiful pickerel. Got him right in the corner. Came down, one of the one of my crew, Joe Pizzi, found a hole. When we back up here, I'm fortunate enough to have a hummingbird with me. There's a hump right there, and as I came over the back of the hump, there's some fish holding on the back side of it. And I, I cast back over it. Beautiful fish, we're gonna let him go. Oh, there he goes. We're gonna try to make our way up to a dam that's further up ahead. We're gonna get up there and I think it'll be a lot easier fishing on the drift, just coming down and working the edges. I'm shocked that one didn't produce. What's that? I'm shocked that one didn't give us anything. There we go. You got one? Fish on. So he came up for the perch and he was right near the boat 
and I had that bucktail just hanging off. I twitched it once, and he took the bucktail. It's a pretty decent sized pike. That's awesome. And I was telling Luke, no reason to come over. It's just a small fish. And then all of a sudden, instantly went out like 20 feet. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, he's still pretty hot too. Yeah, so let's get this guy. Just thrown into the weed lines. Uh, saw some fish blow up and tossed it in there. Ended up getting a pike. There it is. There it is. Yeah, right and, in front uh, of it. In front of us right now. Chris is on, so the action's been pretty good here. Um, and we're just getting started. So there we go. Fire tiger color usually works well for me. And let's get him in the water. Revive this guy. Maybe pick him up when he's a little bigger. All right, let's see if he goes down. He's got one up here on the weed line, so <laughs> see you guys later. As you can look over my right shoulder, we got two dams in here, and uh, Luke was kind enough to let me take the cast. As soon as he cleared, I was throwing it. I almost put it up into the beaver dam, and came back on it and pulled back on the throttle a little bit. Nice fish, look at that, beautiful fish. Okay, I'm gonna pop this hook and see if I can get a nice release. There he goes, look at him swim off. We gotta keep making our way up. It's, you'll wanna stop, it's such a cool area. You look down here over my left side, and you can fish both banks of structure all along it. This is Maine in its finest right here. This is Maine, this is Old Town, Maine. Old Town, like L.L. Bean and Kiri Trading Post. These are the uh, sacred cows of Maine. And I'll tell you, to be out here with the crew from Old Town is just a real treat. We're gonna keep moving though, we still have another mile or so to cover. So hang with us, we're gonna head back. When we come back from commercial, hopefully we have something in our stomach. Maybe a cold drink, seeing how it's 93 degrees out here. And another fish. Wow, he just slammed it. Nice fish, Joe. Nice fish. It's uh, the most stable uh, that I've ever been in. Got a monster! That thing is like standing on the deck of a bass boat. I mean, it you can move around, stand up, sit down, cast out the front, out the back, throw a fly rod, anything you want to do. It's rock steady on it. It doesn't move at all. You feel like a predator when you're out there. You're, the thing is stealthy. The thing uh, it, it's a fishing machine. Hey guys, welcome back. We had a little rainstorm pass through here. They said we might get some afternoon showers. We got an afternoon shower. Well, you can see the clouds coming in. One of our guides said we ought to head for Luke Labrie's cabin. I'm glad we did because it absolutely poured on the way over. We got over to the cabin. We tucked in there, let the water pass us over. I'll tell you what, we're back on the water. We haven't gone 150 yards from the dam that separates Pushaw Lake from Pushaw Stream and we've already picked up three or four fish. The action's great, we got a nice little push from the water coming down here. And we got about two miles of water to work on the way back and it's still early in the afternoon, so we're hoping to get after it. Here we go, oh yeah. Well, there he is. Guys, fish on. We're just letting him hang back there. Look at him. Come on in here, fella. That's not what we want. You see him go right under the boat? Yeah. Oh boy, we're coming up on the witch and all right now. Man, it just seems no, whatever you fish, this is the time of day, right? This is it. This gets better and better. Beautiful pickerel, great deer. We're getting them right now, guys. We get them on spinners, we're getting them on top waters, we get them in, we got a skitter prop, a rappelous skitter prop. We're just getting them all over. The one thing about this kayak, the Predator, is it's a very, very stable platform. I'm standing up in here, I'm getting a really nice drift. I'm able to fish both sides of this stream. I got some structure that's back about 45 yards, 50 yards. And it's really easy for me to go up and throw just beside it there. See if I can't pull something out. The biggest thing that seems to be producing the pike right now is all the structure that's hanging down. Any of those little knockdowns, if you can get around those things, these baits just seem to be hanging on there. We're all kind of playing leapfrog, just kind of hanging with each other. Seems like whoever gets up ahead is usually gonna pick up a fish. 
So this is our new Old Town Predator kayak. We made a version, we went out and tested it with our guides and they said, oh, you did this wrong and that wrong. And, and we went back and we redesigned it, fished it with the guides again. And uh, they said we had more wrong with it. We fixed it again and we got it right. So a couple of features that they told us they really wanted to see was uh, these plates that you see on the side. It's good for electronics, you can put rod holders on it, and you can switch. The nice thing is, is that you don't have to drill into the side of your boat. The other big feature we have is this seat. So uh, this is our element seat. You can um, put it down low if you're in rough water conditions. You can put it in the high seat position here. I love this position for, for fishing. And you can flip it back and out of the way and use it for standing. Whoa, he just slammed it. Did you get it on? Uh, that same lure I've been fishing. Uh, Nice fish. Yeah, this might be the biggest. Oh man, look at the color on it. Wow. Nice go, fish, Joe. Nice job. I don't know. See what the weight is. It should have a scale on it. Let's see. Yeah. It's about uh, five pounds. So I caught him standing up. Real healthy fish. Definitely gave nice. me the uh, mobility to cast around that tree and pick him up right in this tight into this structure. Well, let's get him in before uh, Chris gets another one down there. Let's try to find a few more of these. On every single return, you get a some kind of a perch coming up on it. And it's uh, on some occasions, you look behind the perch and there's a pike following the perch up. I don't know how close you can get to those branches, but it was a pretty big blow up in between that tree, that little maple tree, and the, where, where the blowdown is. Oh, we go all oh, right off the side. There he is. He's coming around the back side. Oh, nice fish. Okay, buddy. Come on in here. Let's all get along. Right now, we're just fishing all sorts of structure. Any knockdowns along the edge. Oh, you just came in. <laughs> Come on, fella. One more. I promise to get you on this one. There we go. Nice fish. That's kind of typical of what we've been getting. The pattern's been the same. We went right back to it and they've been hitting it. Nice, about three and a half pound fish. We're gonna go ahead and vent this guy. He seems a little active. Oh, there he goes. Anything but docile. What's really, really nice about this push-off stream, you look over my left side, you look over my right, you can cast both sides. Stay in the middle. The best thing to do is because all these fish are hanging under structure. Any of the blow downs, that is where these fish are hanging. Hey guys, we've had an incredible day out here fishing on the Pushwa stream. Hang with us tomorrow as the same crew is going to head out a smallmouth bass on the Penobscot River. Should be a great time of fishing to anything close to what we've got today. It's uh, the most stable kayak that I've ever been in. Got a monster! That thing is like standing on the deck of a bass boat. I mean, it. You can move around, stand up, sit down, cast out the front, out the back, throw a fly rod, anything you want to do. Just rock steady on it. Just doesn't move at all. You feel like a predator when you're out there. You're, the thing is stealthy. The thing uh, is it, a fishing machine. It had been nearly a year since I fished in Maine last, and having fished the day before on the Pushaw stream with the Old Town crew, I was reminded of the sheer beauty Maine offers around every bend and run in the river. As we pulled up at the launching site for the second day of fishing, I was reminded by the cabin that sat on the river's edge that Maine offers so much more for the outdoorsman. On this day though, Maine's longest river lay before us, and we were all anxious to load up and set out on another Maine adventure that would prove to be very worthwhile. Hey guys, welcome back to On The Water TV. Dave Haddon, we've switched things up today. We're actually gonna be on the Penobscot River fishing for smallies. Dave, you've done, you've done this a couple of times now, huh? Yeah, we fished this the other day pre-fishing before you guys got here, and uh, we fished mostly on the other bank. It was fantastic. Um, light cloud cover, kind of like today, just surface action the whole time we were out. We have a great day ahead of us. We got probably four or five miles of river we're gonna cover. 
We haven't gone 30 feet, we've already picked up three or four fish, so we're gonna keep moving. Stay with us, I think you're gonna enjoy this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you almost came in the boat. I know, I know, that's great. It's like cloud cover, I mean, it should stay non-stop, especially on the surface. Okay. Beautiful smallie. I got a floating rapala in a uh, perch pattern. They seem to be loving it right now. I haven't, really, haven't been able to get very far with these fish coming up and whacking it. Let me get this guy popped off and back in. I had no idea the smallie action was gonna be this good on the Penobscot, but uh, maybe moving up here. It's amazing, same river system, right? But completely different. I think this is gonna be an exceptional day. So these fish seem to be hanging right on the bank. I've got a little perch pattern. Looks like Amy's on up ahead of us. Yeah. So we substituted out Luke today. This is Amy. She works at the uh, factory. She does our planning and our production scheduling. Oh, Amy, that's a nice fish. Nice fish, Amy. They seem to be right along this entire edge in here. I just picked one up and they seem to be really, really in close. Yeah, this looks really fishy. I was uh, just reeling up my uh, my top water. I think I'm gonna try to get one on the fly, so we'll see. I know, yeah, I saw the fly rod right in there. What is that? What weight do you have there? Yeah, so Amy has my eight weight on hers and uh, this is a two weight that we found in the back of the truck. So, uh, <laughs> two weight will be yeah. exciting. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. They jump up ahead of me and it's right along that edge here. I'll kind of hang back and cover just above you. And now, there we go. He's tight on the fly rod. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, it's a little pickerel. We are. Dave, you got a pickerel? Yeah, he inhaled this little, this little deer haired fly. Pickerel. There he goes. We just finished fishing what I guess would be the North Bank. Yesterday we were fishing the Penobscot River watershed on the Pushaw stream. But today we're just on the Penobscot River and you can see how it can be so diverse. It's a pretty good run across. I would say you're probably looking at about 300 yards, maybe a little bit further. And uh, this bank looks like it's set up about the same way. I'm only in eight feet of water right now and we're a little over halfway across. Down below we may run into a little bit of rough water, but nothing that this kayak can't handle. So. Great conditions right now, a little bit of overcast. That should do pretty well in today's conditions over here with that. It's uh, the most stable kayak that I've ever been in. Got a monster! That thing is like standing on the deck of a bass boat. I mean, it you can move around, stand up, sit down, cast out the front, out the back, throw a fly rod, anything you want to do. It's rock steady and it doesn't move at all. You feel like a predator when you're out there. You're, the thing is stealthy. The thing uh, is it, a fishing machine. Guys, we had a great day out here on the Penobscot River fishing for smallmouth bass. But join us as we head indoors to the Old Town Factory where they make the canoes and the kayaks. Hey guys, we're here at the Old Town Factory where all of the canoes and kayaks 
that are built by Old Town, including the Ocean Kayak, are all done. Looking over my shoulder, they got some 4,000 canoes, kayaks, in all shapes and sizes. Up on the wall behind you is our millionth canoe. In 2001, that was designated as the millionth boat, the millionth canoe, the Old Town Canoe as a company had built. It's so neat that they have the production right here. We make close to 100,000 boats a year out of here. Are you really? Yeah, you know, we, it's a, it's a mid-sized business. You know, we employ about 250 people. We run three shifts out here in manufacturing and distribution. Growing up, we used to always hit Kitty Trade Post, L.O. Bean, and Old Town was another one of those sacred companies from Maine that just established themselves so long ago. Old Town started in 1898. Well, we just passed the first series of rapids. Nothing too big, but really cool. Gives you an idea of the stability of the Predator Kayak. That's nice. We're now back into a situation that was very similar to what we began upriver on the Penobscot here. We've got real nice structure all along here. You can see Amy's just hitting the bank all along the side. As close to the bank as you can get it, and that seems to be producing the fish. If you'll throw along the bank, you'll kind of pull it off. I think those fish are actually picking it up right on the bank, and then they're taking a look at it, and then as soon as you give it a quick retrieve, they come right up and explode on it. So we're hoping to work this entire bank, pick up a few more fish down to that point, and then we may have another series of rapids down below. Great time fishing the Penobscot River with the good folks from Old Town. If the last two days have been any testament to the Predator, it's passing flying colors. These boats are just tremendous. They're really stable platform. But you know, with a kayak, it, it, it's all about setting up a good drift. You know, because here, we're not even, you know, moving the paddles at all. We're just kind of floating with it. Oh, here we go. Amy just landed one in there, huh? How fun is this, Amy? <laughs> Whoa, that's a nice fish right there. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. That was one of the nicer ones today. Sitting here, my hummingbird says we're in three and a half feet of water. So these fish are going to be from the bank all the way out. A lot of these fish seem to be hanging right close, and then they'll fall right off of the bank. If you're going to be on a kayak, and this predator is very stable, don't get me wrong, but if you're going to be on a kayak, one of the things you really should consider doing is making sure you have that life jacket on. It doesn't make any sense to be coming out here. Uh, yesterday we were fishing, had been 90 something degrees, I had the life jacket on the entire time. They say that 85, 90% of all the people that drowned could have been saved if they had a life jacket on. Uh oh, so I had a couple nice fallers right through there. You maybe push off and yeah, get that's down what through I, there. I mean, they were, they were bass, they were nice size. All right, let me push off a little bit here. I love this little ultralight from Fenwick. A great system. Real soft tip. Oh, there he is. Come on now. There he is. Oh, you can see him. Nice. <laughs> you can see him. He was sitting right on the right on the weeds. Nice. That's a territorial fish right there. He was angry. There's a lot of moving water. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Wow, he just whoa. Wow, so Chris and I are doubled right now. Boy, I think this landed in his mouth because he just, as soon as it hit, he was on. Nice fish. Boy, he just pounded that. It hit the water and he hit it. I would say to, for today, these are some of the better fish we've been on. This fish in here is just awesome. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm going to bring him right in the boat. Really nice fish. Really fun in the kayak. They just pull you all around. Let's get this guy back in the water. Nice. That's a beautiful fish right there. Well, I just turned the corner there. There was like a little divergence. And uh, anytime you go by a divergence like that and you have moving water, bait are washing through there. It's hanging right on that divergence there. About the best fish I've gotten in here today. Beautiful fish. Nice pass. Guys, thanks for tuning in to today's show of On the Water. I'm going to go ahead and release this guy. If you'd like to learn more about today's show, log on to onthewater.com. If you'd like to get into one of these kayaks, predatorkayak.com. And for Old Town, oldtowncanoe.com. Thanks for tuning in today.